Hey YouTube, Clovins12. Uh, hope everyone's having a great weekend. Uh, just finished watching the Kentucky Derby. Uh, it was definitely exciting. Uh, I enjoy the sport. I know a lot of people don't, but I watch it every year. It's always fun. Um, but yeah, the favorite one, I did pick the favorite this year, which was not a hard call. Uh, he just seemed superior uh, to the other horses. But yeah, I uh, have a ton to show you guys. It's been about three weeks since my last uh, video. I uh, have, am out of the ICU. My schedule is a lot nicer. Um, the beard is gone. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a uh, much more relaxed time for me. Um, I have a one package mail day to show you guys. Uh, it's a huge package though uh, from a lot of different group breaks. And I also have some uh, pickups from a card show I went to earlier today. Uh, so I have a lot to show you. It's probably going to be a little bit longer video, but uh, hopefully you'll stick around and watch it. Also, as you can see up around this corner right there, uh, I have a U.S. men's national team, uh, or I guess just U.S. soccer uh, shield, and also have right there a uh, fat head of the uh, scarf. I also have a Clint Dempsey and Tim Howard uh, fat head, kind of the mini ones uh, from my buddy Dale. He actually uh, came across those uh, in his store and uh, saved them for me, brought them to the card show, and so I put those two up. I'm sure to put up uh, the rest of them as well, so I'll maybe over... Uh, this shoulder. Can't, <laughs> can't get this camera together. Anyways, just wanted to point that out. Dale, thank you again. Those are awesome. Already putting it up uh, and it looks good. All right. Uh, first off, I'll start out actually with the package. Um, so there's a group on Facebook uh, of a bunch of old breakers, uh, not old, but older, uh, have been around a, a while. Um, and Adam, uh, old YouTuber uh, from back in the day, he's uh, been breaking a lot of product mainly ufc but a couple here and there so i have a ton of of stuff to show you as i said it is mainly ufc so you can fast forward if you want to the card show which is more football um but i'll, I'll get right into it first off i did actually get in two boxes of the new uh uefa euro uh, 2016 soccer uh the prism not so good <laughs> i think i've gotten croatia both times uh also got a uh also got, I think, Iceland one one time and another scrub team. I got this blue prism. It's probably the best hit of the bunch of Ivan uh, Rakitic. I'm not sure how to pronounce I think that's how you pronounce it. Maybe wrong. Don't hate me. Rakitic. I think that's you know, something close to that. Uh, that's out of 249. Then uh, a while ago, probably a couple, probably about a month ago, because I told uh, Adam to hold on to everything and just send me it. Uh, when I, the package got too big, um, I was in a black and gold and then a gold standard basketball. So black and gold football, gold standard basketball, got one hit out of the black and gold, a, uh, new convict, Johnny Manziel, rookie jerseys and out of the black and, or out of the gold standard, I did pretty well. I got this, uh, Contavious Caldwell Pope rookie Jersey auto. It's pretty nice. And this very cool. Uh, insert, but it's the metal card to Marcus Cousins. Sorry about the glare. It's not going to focus on the metal card, but there it is. These are heavy. I don't know if you've ever come across them. I didn't understand how heavy those are, but they are quite weighted. Um, next up in the UFC, I told you it's a ton. I will just show you a couple of the inserts. Got two bloodlines. Got a very nice Ronda Rousey. I'm sorry this uh, camera's not focusing as well. There's the Ronda Rousey and another bloodlines of Johnny Hendricks. Just inserts. Um, let me go through and see. Got a nice uh, Claudia out of 188. She'll be fighting Ioana uh, at, the, at the tough season finale. Um, let's see what else. I have a uh, Sahuda. He just got beat by Aldo last, last week, two weeks ago. Can't remember. It's been a Probably, I think two weeks ago. <laughs> Time's kind of gone uh, gone by the wayside for me. Um, got a nice, out of 227, random numbering, but of uh, Ronda Rousey. More to come from her, actually. Uh, nice Misha Tate, the champion, out of 99. Come on, focus. Doesn't want to focus. I mean, it is just an insert, so I won't be too mad. <laughs> you get the point. Um, let's see what else I have. A rose. 
All right. So as I said, a lot of inserts. Then for the hits, I have a good bit of jerseys, relics, autos, things like that. First up is a GSP, George St. Pierre. Man, this camera does not want to focus today. I don't know if it's because of the light. There it is. George St. Pierre. Junior Dos Santos. Out of 188. Matt Relic. Another Matt Relic, Cub Swanson. I think it's because it's kind of dusk outside, and I have the window open, so the light's not not the best. Um, uh, Fabricio, that's actually a uh, worn, fighter worn. There it is. Very nice, Nate Diaz. Let it focus. Doesn't want to. This is also fighter worn. Out of 188. And then on to the autos. Jake Ellenberger. Out of 225. There we go. Welterweight. Out of Bloodlines. Another Bloodlines auto of Darren Elkins. This is also out of uh, 245, or this is out of 245, not 225. And then a Jersey Auto of uh, Tari Safadine. And a Jersey Auto of the Champ, RDA, Rafael Dos Anjos. I was really hoping... Uh, that super fight between RDA and uh, Conor McGregor happened because I think it was interesting. I think RDA probably would have won, um, though I would be rooting for uh, Conor McGregor. <laughs> and then the uh, this very nice Bloodlines, uh, the metal card that's super, super heavy as well. Uh, number Hand numbered 61 out of 109 of uh, Misha Tate, the champion. These are really, really cool cards. Uh, they're framed. They're quite heavy. And they kind of have the engraving uh, United States on the background. Or on the back of it. Sorry. So very nice. Uh, then the main hits. I have, uh, let's see, three to sh four to show you. Um, first off, this very nice JoJo Calderwell, Calderwood. Sorry. She's an up-and-coming uh, straw weight. This is first auto. Um, very nice. Uh, she's actually, I think, fighting in, her next fight's going to be a catch weight. Uh, maybe a new division uh, in the UFC. That'll be interesting to see. Um, next up, a Ruby uh, of a former champion, number five of eight, Junior Dos Santos. Very nice, number five of eight. And then the two best uh, hits out of last month for me. Um, first off, uh, very nice first auto of uh, Joanna. Uh, Jan Jacek. Very, very cool. She'll be fighting Claudia. Uh, she currently holds the title. And uh, there's a lot of animosity uh, between her and Claudia. So it should be a fun fight. Um, and then the big, biggest card uh, in the in the group by far. It was actually a dual auto, number 15 of 25. And uh, the other guy, it would, it would have been random, but... Uh, we didn't want to do that because it is a huge card. Um, so I actually offered to pay the difference. Uh, and the other guy who won the second half of the card accepted. So this is a dual auto of uh, Ronda Rousey and Hector Lombard. Lightning Hector Lombard. Uh, but definitely the uh, rowdy Ronda Rousey is the, uh, <laughs> is the reason why I wanted the card for sure. Um, very, very nice. Her auto is uh, completely on sticker. Um, super nice and awesome to add to the collection. Uh, I definitely think she will be back. I know she got knocked out by Holly Holm, who currently doesn't hold the title, but I, uh, I think if she uh, played her cards a little bit better and didn't try to stand up, she would have won that fight. Um, but very nice is number 15 of 25, as I said. Awesome addition to the collection. And on to the uh, card show pickups. Um, Definitely have a few to show you guys. Uh, first off, this very nice Brandon Allen was in a uh, 
We did a couple of box breaks there, just kind of group box breaks. Dale hit this uh, and because he had the AFC South and graciously gifted it to me. So thank you very much, Dale. Uh, this is the, the draft pick that the Jags uh, just picked up. I think six round uh, quarterback out of Arkansas. Speaking of the draft, uh, I think the Jags did awesome. Um, they couldn't have planned a better draft. Uh, for Jalen Ramsey to fall to number five was already huge. Uh, a lot of people thought that he would have gone a lot earlier, but it just kind of worked out that uh, two quarterbacks and a running back were selected first, uh, kind of one, two, and then number four. So very nice to uh, have Jalen Ramsey fall. And then I don't think anyone saw Miles Jack uh, show up in the second round. And when he did, the Jags uh, jumped up a couple spots to snag him. So a lot to be excited about. Uh, the defense with Dante Fowler Jr. coming back uh, after injury uh, could be a lot different and a lot better than the defense we saw last year. And uh, if the offense continues to put up points, as I hope they do, um, Bortles does look like he uh, could be a very successful starting QB. And then with the uh, two Allens uh, as wideouts, as long as it wasn't just lightning in a bottle, I'm uh, very optimistic about the Jags. I know that's scary to be optimistic about the Jags, but uh, hopefully they have a better year. Um, I, I'm hoping for 500 at least. Uh, which I, I think is a uh, is an okay uh, mark to shoot for. Um, but we will see. It's a long way away from NFL season. I know that. But uh, after the draft, I am a little more excited than I was going in. <laughs> All right. Sorry. That's my little draft spiel uh, about the Jags. I know you wanted to hear that. Um, next card was actually another gift uh, from another guy at the card show. A very nice David Garrard and MJD. This is numbered 7 of 10. Very nice numbering not going to focus. There it is. Kind of older product, 2011. Uh, these dual uh, autos are very, very hard to come by. And I don't have a ton of uh, Garrard, so very nice. Definitely happy to pick that up. Um, then I got a uh, picked up a JP Tokoto out of this year's uh, Basketball Contenders. Nice pickup. Then a very nice Timmy D, Tim Duncan. Don't have a ton of his stuff. I've been a fan of his for a long time. Not of the Spurs, just of uh, Duncan. Um, but this is out of uh, 75 um, from Select. Very nice purple refractor. Sorry, I think I uh, think the, the light's going down. I'm actually going to crank this on. See if that helps. Makes me a little orange, but I think you'll see the cards a little bit better. <laughs> um, sorry about the fluorescent light. Um, next up, TJ Yeldon. Autograph. Pick this up from Dale as well. Yeah, I think the cards are going to show up a lot better like this. It will make me yellow, but, uh, but I'll take it. <laughs> uh, next up uh, is Julius Thomas. You guys are watching for the cards, not for me, so... Nice uh, pickup here, on card autograph from Museum. I think that's numbered, yep, out of 350. Then, pick this card up off of Dale as well. I think I actually made a trade for all but, I guess, two of the remaining cards. Um, very nice, uh, out of Definitive. It's actually my first Definitive Auto. Numbered 16 out of 25 of Dante Fowler Jr. Don't have a ton of this guy yet. Um, I'll plan on picking up a couple cards, but this is a nice one to start the collection with. Um, definitely one of the higher end products of the year. Very nice on card auto. So yeah, hopefully he comes back and makes a huge impact. Uh, then to continue to add to my Jags PC, um, another guy had this. I guess he would want it in a group break and was looking to get rid of it, which I was happy about. Numbered 7 of 25. It's a uh, National Treasures booklet autograph of Blake Bortles and Dante Fowler Jr. Fortunately, the Dante Fowler Jr. Panini did an awful job centering that. I mean, half the auto is off, um, which is unfortunate, but the Bortles is very nice, and it is all in the window. And it is a nice out of 25 uh, dual jersey, or dual jersey dual auto booklet. So I was happy to pick that up, even with the uh, unfortunate centering on that uh, that fiberglass window. But yeah, and then the uh, the bigger cards, uh, three big cards from the uh, from the show. Uh, first off, uh, numbered out of four ninety nine, it's a BGS nine with a ten auto, 
of uh, Russell Wilson. I don't have a ton of this guy, so I figured I'd pick this card up in a nice trade. Very nice. Uh, next up, I this is actually I think only the third autograph of this guy I have. Uh, one of them I bought, the other one, uh, John actually, JWH1969 actually gifted me uh, in a care package. And then this showed up at the card show and uh, figured I didn't want to leave without it. It is uh, numbered 3 of 25 out of all time greats. The nice SBX of uh, Landon Donovan. <clears throat> Very nice gold on card auto. Really nice, uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, very nice uh, auto and hit to add to the collection. Very happy about that. It's definitely a uh, shiny and very awesome in person. So that's an awesome PC for life hit. And then last but not least is probably one of the bigger cards. I uh, I only have one of this guy's autograph and it's uh, a dual auto. Uh, with Gabbert, <laughs> so for uh, I really wanted to get a card with just him. Uh, as you can guess, it's a 2012 uh, rookie uh, quarterback autograph. Uh, this is uh, BGS9 with a 10 auto, and it is from Valor of uh, Andrew Luck. Very nice on-card autograph. Let it focus. There you go, numbered out of 75. Just a beautiful card, as you can see, the 10 autograph. So very happy to pick that up. Um, very, very nice. Uh, so yeah, those are my pickups. I am, so, am sorry that it's been such a long video. I'll turn off this light now so I don't look yellow again. Um, but yeah, I <laughs> uh, hope everyone has a great rest of the weekend. Uh, take care, and thanks for watching.